The Red Cross telling us the war in Ukraine is a catastrophe for refugees, millions of them getting out of Ukraine, more of them going to Poland than anywhere else. And one of the places where they're finding shelter is at a Jewish community center. It is run by a native of New York from Queens, shelter offered in a country that 80 years ago was home to the most vicious and inhumane concentration camp of them all, Auschwitz. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger is live in Krakow. Josh. Well, Sade Bell, it's just after 11 o'clock here in Krakow, which is only about an hour away from Auschwitz, the location uh, of that extermination camp. And tonight, hundreds of Ukrainian refugees are being put up in hotel rooms, comped, funded by local charitable organizations in a city once occupied by the Nazis and which fears that in real time, history is repeating itself. They line up here all day, every day. Hundreds of weary, hungry, dejected mothers and their kids. Too young to comprehend what Zoriana knows all too well. It's a whole time, but I see the news, I cry. Because it's impossible. It's so, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Really exhausted. Because it's a normal situation. She. Eight-year-old Sofia and four-year-old Andriana fled to Poland to be safe, her husband back home protecting their country. She made it to Poland's second largest city, a place all too aware of hardship and pain. We're in Krakow. It's an hour's drive from Auschwitz. Uh, we are an hour's drive from the epicenter of the Holocaust. Ninety percent of Krakow's Jewish population was exterminated by Hitler. And for 30 years, Jonathan Ornstein, born in Forest Hills, Queens, has made it his mission to keep their memory alive at the local Jewish community center he runs, a mission that's evolved drastically in the past few months. We understand, as another community, Ukrainians are being victimized, that we have to have learned the lesson of the Holocaust, which is not to be indifferent and not to stand silent as others are being victimized. <laughs> About 500 miles away, today the Secretary General of the UN made his way to the Kyiv region towns of Borodiana and Bucha, where hundreds of Ukrainian corpses, civilian non-combatants, have been found since Russian forces destroyed entire neighborhoods and then withdrew. I imagine my family in one of those houses that is now destroyed and black. I see my, my granddaughters running away in panic. Running away, in many cases, to places like this JCC in Poland. It's raised funds to stock all these shelves and provide free shelter for Ukrainian refugees of any religion. People like Zoriana, who's lost everything but Sofia and Andriana. Innocent victims of a vicious war. My kids, only my kids. I live for kids. She lives for her kids, she says, and she does not have any idea when she'll be able to take them back home and when she can resume her job as a teacher. There are a lot of Ukrainians, by the way, who are teachers and cooks and attorneys and floral designers who are trying to come up with something new to do for a career. And tonight at Eyewitness News at 6, you will meet a man from New Jersey who has in the past month hired 50 Ukrainian refugees. I'll tell you how we did it when I see you in about an hour. For now, we are live in Krakow, Poland tonight. Josh Einiger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Josh, so many people stepping up and helping out. It's just really amazing and great story you had. And we look forward to your coverage at 6. And by the way, Josh is going to continue to report from Poland, and especially for New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan when he arrives tomorrow. We have all of his reports, of course, on ABC7 and Wild.